Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Now there is a saying in the world of photography that goes something like the best camera is the one that you have on you. Now Samsung seems to have taken, taken that to heart with their single take feature and you know in every video that uh, features a phone with single take we do talk about it, I do talk about it, I do tell you guys hey this is what you can do with it but I feel it is a little more complex and I've not had the time to actually dig into it and explain it uh, in any of those videos so I thought hey why not do a dedicated video on single take because that's something we're seeing on more and more uh, phones these days. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So let's take a close look at Samsung single take and how we can actually get the most out of it. Now Samsung debuted the single take feature with the, with the Galaxy S20 series of flagships. Very quickly it trickled down from flagships to the budget M series. Now we went ahead and compiled a list of some of the phones that do support this feature. They're on screen right now, I'm not going to waste your time by reciting all the names. So feel free to pause the video and go through the list. Now Samsung is infamous for being extra when it comes to features and we've called them out on it multiple times. Now with One UI they've cut down on the fluff and honestly single take is one of if not the best camera feature that Samsung has come up with in recent times. Basically once we click on the shutter key with single take the phone takes a bunch of videos as well as stills and gives us loads of options to choose from. Sounds kind of confusing right? Well let's see it live in action on the Note 20 Ultra. Here we have Anantan and Harris sparring and I use that term very loosely. We hit the single take button, wait for 10 seconds and BAM! We have everything from a video to a few short clips, a stylized crop and even few shots with filters on them. And you see the small crown icon on top of that one shot? That's what the AI recommends as the best shot. By the way, if you've been enjoying this video thus far, a sub to the channel is something we'd really appreciate. And while you're down there, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet, you know, that lets you turn on notifications for videos. Uh, and yeah, that's something that would be super good. Now, these are not the only sorts of pictures that single take can come up with. Depending on the scenario and what's going on inside the frame, single take can automatically take snaps from the primary camera ultra wide, uh, you know, ultra wide pictures with that ultra wide sensor that's available, light focus shots, panoramas as well as smart crops like we saw with the first example. It also intelligently applies a bunch of filters to some, some of the pictures making them Instagram ready without any effort on our part. On the video side of things, in addition to the regular primary camera footage it can also include boomerangs and even hyperlapses. In fact the more we move around and create different angles for single take to work with, the better the results are. At least. That is what we found in our experience. And hey, uh, last but not the least, we can also play around with the time. Like these single takes were shot for 15 seconds, but we can use this slider and set the time to anywhere between 5 uh, to 15 seconds. Now, taking a look at all these sample images, one might wonder why we need single take. After all, uh, almost every device out there today can take burst mode pictures or even boomerangs for that matter, right? So what is so unique about single take? Well, the main USP here is that with one click of the shutter key, we are getting a ton of options. So we have the regular snaps, but what if we missed an all-important frame? Then we have a video too. And what if we want to see Anantan getting KO'd? And I promise you, Harris made me say this. Harris was insistent that this is the shot we use. So hey, College Harish, this one's for you. Uh, we've got that as well here. Now, of course, the one drawback of single take is that we are depending on the AI to choose which shots to take. For example, we can't manually opt for an ultra wide shot, meaning while single take is amazing for everyday use, it is never gonna really replace a well thought out frame and a perfectly timed click. So no, single take is not gonna replace burst mode or panorama or any other shooting option for that matter. But it is more like icing on the cake, kind of, kind of an extension to normal snaps. The best example that comes to mind for me is how Apple created live photos. It didn't make videos or photos obsolete, it just added a safety net so that we could capture those precious moments a little more consistently. With single take, it's much of the same. Since we mostly take selfies that we end up sharing on social media, single take goes the extra step in making a boomerang clip or adding a filter to our shots uh, just so our photos and videos come out looking insta ready right out of the gate. It's a nice little feature that I see myself using from time to time and if you're someone who, who wants to have a bit of fun with your photos then it is something you most definitely should try out too. 
So that's my take on Samsung single take. Do let me know what you think of this feature in the comments below. Also, if you have some single take shots that you are proud of, then do show them off by tagging me on Insta or Twitter at c 4 Tech. That is the official handle. And with that, we get to the end of this video and it is time for me to bid you adieu. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.